weekly update for September 9th, and it's going to be a real quick one uh, this week, I'm afraid. Uh, we're scrambling for short yardage, trying to get Cerebus and Hell number zero to the printer, and everything's squared away on that. Uh, I hope you saw the good news that uh, we sold 8,021 8, copies of uh, Cerebus and Hell number zero. Yeah, that's that's very good news. So. Uh, before that was happening, uh, this was what I was working on earlier today, is uh, I think I mentioned the correspondence boxes before that we've had uh, made up for um, my correspondence in the service archive. And uh, what I've been doing is mocking up what, uh, what the side of, uh, let's see, Oh, here's Sandy now, <laughs> right? Well, I'm recording. Uh, Sandy says hi. Actually, Sandy says, where's the weekly update? I'm out of here in half an hour. Uh, so we're going to go even faster than I, I uh, expected before. Anyway, it's a pretty clever piece of work with uh, the two flanges that insert into the box itself. And then inside is uh, the correspondence. As you can see, this one's just about filled up. Here's the latest, uh, latest one, September 7th, fax to Sean uh, about going home and the previews ad and uh, the Cerebus and Hell number zero orders. And here's all of the correspondence that has come in or has gone out or both uh, since May of this year. So it, uh, it actually holds quite a number of documents and then uh, fits very tightly with the two large inserts and then putting these back in on the sides it seals up pretty much like a book and what I've been working on is what the side of it's going to look like I don't I don't know if this is going to be box number 48 but we're going to have the boxes numbered and then it's going to say correspondence and the dates of the correspondence and of course have the uh, Cerebus Archive logo on there. And the reason that this is moving closer to the front burner is that uh, Dave Fisher has gotten all of the 1990 letters scanned and inputted and made into a PDF file. So that will be offered with the um, with the next Kickstarter. We're just figuring out right now how to format it. One of the things is that we uh, we definitely want to uh, take the street addresses off of the letters. Um, we're going to leave the city and state and zip code. Most of the time it's a city, state and zip code. But um, just in case somebody still lives there or somebody's parents still live there, uh, we really don't want to have uh, addresses attached to the letters. And we're also looking into um, Putting the names of the correspondence at the top of the letters, as uh, as was done with the um, digital collected letters, which uh, you've already gotten the uh, 2004 and 2006. But a lot of work, and now we got to be ready for um, boxing up all of the original letters and uh, putting them in the Cerebus archive. Okay, that's going to do it for 
the weekly update this week because the play right now is definitely on Cerebus in Hell with a question mark number zero and the 22 brand new never before seen Cerebus in Hell strips that will be in that one. So thanks very much for joining us this week and I hope we'll see you next week with the weekly update on September the 16th.